Okay, so we have uh, example number two. This time we're going to determine cosine 75 degrees. Okay, so we have cosine 75 degrees can be written as cosine of 150 degrees over 2. The next step is we're going to apply the half angle identity using this one. So we have cosine theta over 2 equal to plus or minus 1 plus cosine theta over 2. Okay. Next is we plug in natin yung 150 degrees plus ating theta. So this is, by the way, theta over 2 is 75 degrees. And cosine 75 degrees, or 75 degrees is located sa first quadrant. Ang cosine ng ating funk angle do sa ating first quadrant is positive. So, gamitin natin yung positive. Positive root. 1 plus cosine 150 degrees over 2. Next. So, we have 1 plus. Ang reference angle niya is 30 degrees. Okay. 150, ito yung 30. Okay? And negative dyan, si cosine sa second quadrant. So, minus cosine 30 degrees over 2. Next, 1 minus cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2. Over 2. Next, LCD is 2. 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 times 2. Pinagsama ko na. Napupunta na sa ilalim. Not a shortcut. Next, we have 2 minus square root of 3 over 4. Okay. And then, kunin natin square root ng top, square root ng balalim. So, we have square root of 2 minus square root of 3 over 2. Okay. So, yun nasagot natin. Again, pwede pa, tin, pwede pa itong isimplify. Okay. Simplify muna natin. Kasi pag kunuha natin ang cosine 75 degrees gamit ang calculator, that is square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. Okay? Square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. Okay? Simplify natin to. So we have uh, square root of 2 minus square root of 3 over 4. Then, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 2. Result is 2 times 2 is 4 minus 2 square root of 2 over 8. Next natin gagamitin, gamitin natin yung a squared minus 2. So, minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to square root of a plus b. Okay? Oh, sorry. Square of A minus B. Now, ang gagawin natin? So, atiin natin yung 4. Kasi ang ating magiging middle term is negative 2 square root of 3. So, atiin natin by square root of 3 squared and 1. So, that is 3 here minus 2 square root of 3 plus 1. And then, square root of 8 is 2 square root of 2. Next, rewrite natin to. 3 is the same as square root of 3 squared. Minus 2 square root of 3 and 1 is 1 squared. Over 2 square root of 2. Yeah. Next, pwede natin itong marewrite sa gantong format. So, we have square root of 3 minus 1 squared. Sa baba, 2 square root of 2. Okay? Next, so, nito, so, pwede natin itong ilabas kasi cancel na yung radical form kasi perfect square siya. So, magiging square root of 3 minus 1 over 2 square root of 2. Rationalizing the denominator, we have square root of 2 top, square root of 2 denominator. So, we have square root of 6 minus square root of 2. Shortcut ko na, square root of 2 times square root of 2, square root of 4, square root of 4 is 2 times 2, 4. Yeah. So, mapapansin ninyo, we got the same answer dun sa ating calculator. Okay? So, pwede na sa akin, pero mas maganda kung kaya nyo i-simplify sa gantong format. Okay? O sa gantong form. Okay? So, on my next video, I'm going to answer tangent 75 degrees.
thank you.